Hello everybody, this is Mr. Bowen. Today we're going to be looking at the Alex topic, inscribed angles and angles involving chords and tangents of a circle. So we have a circle here, and we know that uh, QR here is our diameter, uh, QT is tangent at Q, and uh, we know that uh, the measure of the arc length of, or the measure of the major arc really, of QRS is 296 degrees. So we're going to try and find the angle RQS, not an arc length here, or not an arc really, um, of, but an angle of RQS, and then SQT. So what we really need to focus on is this number, because that's kind of where we want to start. So we know QRS is a major arc. It goes all the way around here, is 296. So how do I just find this guy? Because that's really what I want. And the answer is, the fact that we know this is a diameter, this whole thing has to be 180 degrees. So if that's 296, if I use that plus some, whatever's past 180 has to be right here. So I'm going to take that 296 and subtract 180 and find out that this has to be 116 degrees. Okay. So now, this is great because it's an intercepted arc of this angle which is, since the vertex isn't in the center, it's on the outside, it's an inscribed angle, which means it's going to be half the length of this arc. So if I divide that in half, this is what we're finding right now, by the way. Uh, if I divide that in half, let's I get 58 degrees. It's by 116 divided by 2. So what do I know about SQT? Okay, so that is pretty much all I get uh, from the inscribed angle part, but I know something else about this. This is tangent, and since this is a diameter, the diameter and a tangent line of a circle, if they meet at the same point, make a right angle. So this whole thing is a right angle, which means it's 90 degrees, and I know this part of it's 58. So because of my angle addition, I should be able to do 90 minus 58 to find out this size, which is exactly what I'm going to do and find out that it is 32 degrees. So just 90 minus 58 will give me that 32. 